Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part four of my uh, Super Metroid 100% uh, speed run. Let's play Super Metroid. Um, we're going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off, right about to get the uh, high jump boot. So let's go. I'm, uh, I'm uploading part three now, so you guys should be able to be getting that shortly, and uh, I'll probably upload this shortly thereafter. Alright, now we got the high jump boots. And since we took care of that guy earlier, we don't have to worry about him now. We just jump up here, go through the door, and we're done. Alright. Alright, so we're done uh, with our little side adventures here at Norfair, and time to start moving on through to the uh, main event. You can go ahead and go through this uh, top right hand door here. That floor you gotta shoot through, obviously, and then uh, jump up here at the end. Pretty simple room. Nothing uh, hidden in there, so don't have to worry about that. Does not apply here, though. There is something hidden in this room. And it is in the third section here. If you go down here in the lava, there is a missile cartridge. Missile pack, whatever you want to call it. Oops. I believe I got hit there. Okay. Now this room, um, I generally try to just roll underneath as much as possible up until the uh, lava actually starts raising um, at that point. Um, it'll, you'll just move too slow in the lava, so you want to get out and, and go along on top. Um, go ahead and, and grab these uh, missiles over here before I forget. I've done that a time or two. And then we're going to move up and, and uh, get the speed booster finally. Right. But we're not going to take the long way. We are going to freeze one of these guys and head up that way. See, normally we're supposed to get the speed booster, then the freeze, the ice beam. But uh, that's not the case now. And for some reason, this guy doesn't want to come down here. There's that, but not quite what I wanted. So let's see if he'll do this. Come on. That might be enough. There we go. Okay. Fantastic. Oh, come on. Okay, well, at least now that that guy's dead, um, I'll be able to uh, do this wall jump here. There we go. Either way, you'll make it through. Alright, more screes, and the uh, first available of our uh, five enemy generators. Very helpful for uh, regenerating all your health and items and everything. Usually get through them pretty quick. <clears throat> Unlike the single item generators, you might be there for a while. Some more new bridges, and at the end of this very long hallway, we have missiles. That's it, folks. No. Close through the door with the missiles, and the speed booster. And looks like we gotta use it. The lava's gonna raise here. Just run, 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 run. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, when the uh, echoes are going like that, those blue echoes are behind Samus. If you press down, um, you will charge up a move known as the Shine Spark. Um, basically, what happens is you will. Uh, start flashing yellow, and for a limited amount of time, if you jump and press a direction up, left, right, or L or R, 
or excuse me, R um, for your upper diagonal, um, you will go flying straight in that direction uh, until you hit a wall or until you almost run out of energy. Um, your energy will constantly drop while you're doing Shine Spark, but uh, it, it will never be enough to kill you. However, if you do Shine Spark all the way down to your limit and then get hit by an enemy, you're probably going to die anyway. So You just want to avoid uh, Shine Sparking too much. There's certain points where it's going to be a, a good idea, and I'll point them out to you, but uh, aside from that, uh, you don't want to Shine Spark all the time. Okay, now here I messed up. Um, you just you want to um, spin jump up onto the wall here so you can uh, wall jump up and over. Uh, normally you just want to jump off that ledge, hit the wall, and wall jump, but I just didn't get the jump right. But that's okay. Alright, so now we got the uh, wave beam. Now we can shoot through objects, walls, all that stuff. Alright, you want to jump down into the middle where those uh, gravity blocks are that aren't spikes and continue on through. Okay. We're going to head back up here and head towards the first uh, mini boss in Norfair. And hopefully we'll have enough time to uh, take him out. There's a couple little uh, crawler guys in here that you want to take out before you move uh, forward. And then uh, you're going to go through this left door here. If you go down, that'll take you the long way around to where I was. Now without the wave beam, we can't go through this gate right here. That's why we got to get the wave beam back there. We're actually taking the back entrance to this place. Really, this is where we could end up coming out of uh, in a normal game. But uh, since we're going through it so quick and uh, breaking the uh, the correct path, per se. All right. Now, this is Crocmire. Crocomire, whatever you want to call him. Um, he can be a pain in the rear. Um, he's a very, a very simple strategy. When he opens his mouth, shoot a missile or super missile. Um, each one will knock him back further uh, until he falls off the ledge into the lava. Now, if you don't have enough missiles, he can be very frustrating because you have to wait till he starts firing those uh, things out to get more missiles and he can sneak back on you uh, very, very quickly. Um, but with regular missiles, you can fire more than one into his mouth at a time, um, and it knocks him back further. Um, you just don't want to let him gain too much ground, because he can push you into some spikes that are over here. And I guess that's a wall now. Look at that. Now, he'll die, and he'll go over here, but first... I want to shine spark over to this energy tank. Normally you're supposed to have the grappling beam to go ahead and get it, but it's easy enough just to do that. And then jump off. And you're going to take a little bit of damage here, but overall it's worth it. Alright. It looks like he's still alive! We gotta kill him! I thought he was the first time I played this, but... Anyway, that's where we're gonna end for now. Uh, next time, we're gonna continue our exploration of uh, Norfair here. Thanks for watching, everybody!